lot of feedback from people around what does really a foundation trust mean and what does it mean for us as staff. So there are a number of benefits that a foundation trust has for staff. We will remain firmly in the NHS. This is not about privatisation. It doesn't mean that anyone's terms and conditions change. Uh, but it will give you as a member of staff, if you're a member of the Foundation Trust, a significant say in what happens in the organisation uh, and, and the, uh, the services that we provide. So when we become a Foundation Trust, we will be accountable to what's called the Council of Governors. And this is a body that's made up of uh, members of the public, uh, members of staff and local stakeholders, so that could include CCGs, local authorities. The Council of Governors role is to monitor the trust performance uh, and approve its strategy. So as a member of staff, you can stand to be a member of the Council of Governors and there are a number of seats that are reserved for staff. Everyone who's a member of the Foundation Trust gets a vote. Um, and that way, um, people uh, and members of staff can really hold the organisation to account uh, and influence the direction of the services that we develop and how the organisation functions. So a lot of people, when I'm walking around the Trust, ask me what's happening with Springfield and Tolworth and the rebuild of, of, the, of the sites. Um, this, again, has taken a long time. Um, but we're now again entering, uh, I think, the, the critical phase of this. So recently we have had the business case for uh, our proposals to rebuild both Springfield and Tolworth Hospital and operate our inpatient services from those two sites agreed by all of the CCGs locally, NHS England and all of the scrutiny committees of the local authorities. It's a really important landmark in terms of our uh, journey and the development of Springfield. So this means that we can now prepare the full business, the outline business case and the full business case which will allow us to start the building uh, uh, and rebuild of the services. We, when this is finished, we'll have some of the best inpatient facilities in the country. We'll be able to offer those to everyone who is admitted. Um, so it's a fantastic opportunity, really once in a lifetime, to really improve the estate that we've got across the organisation. So in terms of when this will start, um, we still need to develop the, the, the business cases for this. Um, but we're looking at uh, probably building work to start in May 2017, with it fully completed, hospitals opened in 2021. Seems a long way away. Um, but there's a lot of work still to be done to get to there, but we've reached a point where this is now going ahead. In preparation for that, we've had to sell a small part of land uh, near Hebden Road on the Springfield site. This was to do with us achieving planning permission, and work will start on the building of 26 houses um, before uh, the main work on the, uh, on the hospital starts. So we expect that early next year, 2016, There'll be some building work will start on a small piece of land um, on the Springfield site um, and obviously there will be some disruption but we're aiming to keep this to a minimum. Um, if you want more information about this we will put information on there. Matthew Neal who's the lead of this for the organisation can give more information and we'll have more uh, details on the intranet. Okay, the last uh, thing I want to talk to you about this week is about uh, a pilot that we're going to do on a change in shift systems for people who work on wards. Now, are you, those of you who work on wards will be aware that this changed last year and I've heard a number of staff talk about concerns about the shift system and how that operates. So we've been talking to our staff side colleagues around what can we do to improve some of this. I've heard some of this from listening to action as well. So we're about to pilot on six wards, looking at uh, a shift system that changes the pattern that we have at the moment from very, very early starts to make it longer days. So something like 12 hour day shifts. Um, we think that this will make a, uh, a really positive contribution to patient uh, safety because we'll have more continuity of staff throughout the day and it will also make an improvement for staff in terms of work-life balance. 
Um, as I say, we're going to pilot this on six wards. Six wards have put themselves forward as interested in running this pilot, followed by an evaluation of that. And if that's successful, we'll look to spread this across the whole organisation. Um, the, uh, there'll be more information published shortly, uh, and the lead for this, Sharon Spain, or if people are interested in further, they can talk to Andrew Clough, who's the Director of Nursing.